Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. Check it out, check it out. We're back for sideboarding for game number three against our green, white, uh, red, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> our Obzon opponent. I was looking at Rending Volley. It's very red, as you have probably noticed. Our opponent does have um, two toughness creatures, you know, uh, except... Searing Blood doesn't kill a, uh, a lion or anything like that. Bathe in Dragonfire might be a little bit more our speed, uh, as it seems uh, Roast would be. It's tempting to bring in Rending Volley, but, you know, it doesn't hit uh, Seder. But the other creatures we saw it does hit. So maybe s uh, some combination of Rending Volley, uh, Bathe, and then we can take out... Uh, heel Cutter is going to be good in this... Oh, I, I went down to three Lightning Berserkers. I mentioned in the last video that it was uh, uh, two main deck, but it's three. Lightning Strike is actually fairly good in the uh, green-white matchup, if only because it gives you a chance to snipe their uh, lions relatively early. Um, we can go down on the Wild Slashes. And up on the, uh, you know, the higher damage creature removal. Because uh, with on offensive uh, things don't stay in wild slash range very long at all. Got two lands, a couple of four drops. This hand uh, could be troublesome, but if there's anything we learned from last video, it's that I don't make good mulligan decisions. <laughs> Sorry, that's being a little bit self-deprecatory there, but uh, we're going to try this out. I believe i believe in the heart of the cards plus berserker into eidolon uh with four drops in hand is actually not the worst start so we draw a stoke it's the the four drop we were missing um i think we do want to drop eidolon right now the fact that he's a collected company deck means that he's going to have a lot of low-cost creatures, potentially in his hand, and if we can make it as painful as possible for him to advance his game plan, that's part of our game plan. That's our path to victory. Uh, speaking of which, I'll take a moment to talk about some of the cards I'm looking forward. Nice. It, duress becomes a thought seize. I'm looking forward to putting into this deck, pardon me. Uh, Avaracious Dragon uh, continues the, uh, you know, the theme of Outpost Siege while giving us another 4-4 uh, flyer for 4. It's exactly what this deck uh, wants if we're going to move in more of the mono-red mid-range direction, which I believe is a good idea because if you're not advancing that extremely aggressive game plan, also the land is a little hard to... Uh, wrangle at some points. Anyway, if you're not advancing that extremely aggressive game plan, then uh, ha having even as many four drops as I do have is a little dangerous. So I think we could stand to shave the curve on the low end. And then, yeah. All right. Nice little bit of damage. We're expecting, uh, Things like Warden of the First Tree, Rakshasa Death Dealer, of course, Hero's Downfall. That's fine. He took four damage, uh, six if you count the attack from our Eidolon. Card is 
awesome. Um, not a whole lot of great options for us here. We're going to attack for two and hold up rending volley. And hope he plays a fleece mane lion and on offends a, uh, crap. <laughs> Take the siege. Man, he took the siege. He must not have a white creature. Pain seer. Interesting. Huh? It's a utility creature. And it's not white. So, can't really argue with his logic there. However, we are going to be able to clear the path here and keep on just twoing him. Giving him the deuces. That sounds weird when I say it out loud. All right. Opponent is at five. Um, we're stuck on two land, but uh, Lightning Berserker is a pretty good card to have stick to the board when you're working with limited resources here. We hit our third land, so... Yeah, we just play this Phoenix. He knows it's coming, but... We're going to draw out any potential removal. And then if he, yeah, Surge of Righteousness, interesting. Um, so basically what we're going to do here yeah, is kill him with Lightning Berserker in two turns. Plus we have another Phoenix in hand and Rending Volley. So, I mean, he does have five in hand, but it appears that he's stuck on three land. So, whatever those cards are, safe to assume he cannot cast them. Let's see if he's got another Surge. A Boon Seder, okay. Yeah, this was the uh, circumstance that I was worried about running into with Rending Volley. Um, but, you know, second main Flame Wake Phoenix is fine. And then we can next turn drop the Thunder Break and be threatening lethal. <clears throat> so... If and when we go to the board for this one, we're probably going to drop the Rending Volleys in favor. Yeah. Okay. Well, rather than talk about it, I'll just show you in the next video. So we'll catch you there, and we will conclude the match.